Start e-commerce business in one day. What a statement, huh? It is. Yeah. We're actually reducing it to one hour. Today, as a business, one of the most important things is your homepage. I want to start e-commerce business. I need a shop, like a front front store. Yeah. What's my options? How can I have a platform that provides you with a warehousing and fulfillment solution and gives you the empowerment you need? This is where you write your AI prompt. The customer places an order from Saudi. He's going to pay an international shipping fees. Mm -hmm. But when you register with Pacman, so all of this generated after the prompt. And it's already translated into multi-languages, connected to an online payment gateway, integrated with a delivery system. Partnerships with the government institutions. Yes. How does it help you? A lot of businesses are based in other parts of, of this world. So we're a gateway for them to start their business here in UAE. We have over 3,000 businesses registered with us. So basically concept is working. Yes. You're expanding. Almost 70% of the registered in our platform are women. What's the percentage that you serve the local market? 70 local, 30% international. Our prices start from only 340 dirhams a month with 0% commission from your sales. It's not a problem with your product. It's a problem with the way how you're conveying the message to clients. Did you ever thought to start your own e-commerce business, but the idea overwhelming that you need to deal with all the aspects? Well, I have good news for you. Today we're in Dubai in Al-Kuzi area visiting a Pac-Man startup. They're helping all future entrepreneurs to start their own e-commerce business, as well with the help of AI. How are they doing? What are they doing? And how are they claiming themselves as entrepreneurship factory? We're gonna go and check it out. And it doesn't matter if you are locally based here or just overseas trying to step in UAE market. Let's go and check it out. Abdulaziz. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for welcoming us. It's our pleasure. Pacman, e-commerce startup. Tell me, tell me, how is it going? So Pacman is a one-stop solution for small and medium businesses who are looking to start their online business in one day. We support them with an end-to-end -end service solution where we create the website for them, integrate it with an online payment, and we take care of deliveries completely. By that, once you get an order from your website, our team are going to handle the pickup and delivery to your customers, whether they are in UAE or anywhere around the world. Okay, basically everything. Yes. Start e-commerce business in one day. What a statement, huh? It is. Yeah. We're actually reducing it to one hour. All right, okay. Let's see how does it work. We have different departments. We have some of the operation departments here and some of them are in the uh, fulfillment center. Okay. So today, once a website has been created, it goes into several stages. The first stage is the design part. So if the client was not satisfied with the design, we redesign the website for him. You mean with the AI, somebody wants to tweak? Exactly. Yeah. And we have the accounting team, we have the HR team placed there just to make sure all accounts are cleared. Yeah. Everything is, is on point and numbers are aligned. Yeah. So basically, this is where uh, the hard work happening. Yeah. Let me show you what we do through our screen that we always uh, show our clients mm -hmm. examples of our websites. Yeah, so this is the website part, yeah? Yeah. So, so Pacman, it's an e-commerce platform that creates websites from its own platform. Mm -hmm. We don't use any third-party softwares to create our website. So, this software has been created from scratch okay. to generate a website or create a website with in less than a minute. Because today as a business, one of the most important things is your homepage. It reflects your identity to your end customer who's vis visiting the website. So we're just going to give you a brief tour. So this is our dashboard. This is where you write your AI prompt. So your AI prompt speaks uh, about what your business does. And we're going to show you an example on how the website can look like. So all of this generated after the prompt? So what happens? Once you write the prompt, you're going to have images and videos being laid out. Mm -hmm. So let's say you didn't like them or it didn't suit it's your- It's like, a, like your a stock, yeah? Images, yes. yeah, placements. So it's so easy that you change it with your own images, with your own videos. But the layout has already been done for you. Mm -hmm. 
So the other part is, it's literally as easy as one, two, three. And you, you mentioned it's your own platform. It's not like any management system. 100%. So this is fully our platform, fully Pacman. Okay. So if you want to go ahead with the purchase journey of a customer, with three easy click, the customers can click, can choose a product, uh, add to cart and check out. So once they submit the order, our backend team or our operations team get that order and they go ahead with the next steps required in order for your items to be delivered to your customer successfully. Okay, tell me more about this beginning. This is our landing page. Yeah. And of course, this website has been done or built using Pac-Man entirely. So everything you see here was pre-built by our team and our prices start from only 340 dirhams a month. A month fixed, yeah. yeah. With 0% commission from your sales. We have over 3,000 businesses registered with us. As of today, we've managed to successfully deliver over 200,000 products. And again, these are example websites that we're gonna show you in a bit. So this website, it's called Wink by Meme. It's for one of the content creators who are based in the UAE. She's a businesswoman, she's an entrepreneur, she's passionate about what she does. And this is her website. You can see that each website has its own identity. Okay, so why she just, she kind of had a, let's say, own followership on the social media, she's creating yeah. content, and she decided to create her own brand. Exactly. Okay, so yeah. what? And then like she needs a website and everything. Yes. And that's where you step in, yeah. Exactly, so now you have a lot of content creators, they usually, uh, the first step is they create that uh, database behind them. Mm -hmm. The second step is how can I monetize this database. So this is any successful content creator would go ahead with that approach. In this case, we're gonna go with her website. Okay. She knows that most of her followers are females based in the GCC. So she selected makeup products. If you can see here, she even branded them under her own name, which is Wink by Meme. And, and this way we've enabled her to have her business up and running, start selling online, and basically sell all over the world. Okay. So that's a successful example that's been with us for almost three years today. So question, for example, when I have a need, I want to start e-commerce business. I need a shop, like a front, front store. Yeah. What's my options? What, what I'm thinking is, okay, is it WordPress, Wix, or something like this? Yes. We stand out from the competition that's out there. Why? Because today with 340 dirham, you get a website that has already been pre-built in terms of the look and feel. Okay. And it's already transla translated into multi-languages. And it's connected to an online payment gateway and it's integrated with a delivery system. It comes like a package straight away done. And I don't think other platforms have that. Today. All right, so that's kind of your unique selling point. Yes. Everything integrated straight away starts. I see simple pricing, zero commissions. Yeah. I mean, how are you guys making business then? We're in a business of volume. We're looking to have 20, 30, 40,000 subscribers with us. I guess like a, like a brands yes. that pay monthly fee or they have quarterly and yearly. Is it discounted or if you pay yearly or quarterly? So if you decided to take a yearly, you have a discount of around 10 to 12%. Okay, there is. Yeah. Okay. Compared to, to and here we, we have different types of websites. So we have, for example, clothing websites. So if you can see that each website we've seen so far has its own unique design. We don't imitate all our websites to have the same look and feel. We give that per personalization to a business for him to stand out amongst the competition. Mm -hmm. As a new client, you can come to our website, you can build your website, see how it looks like without paying. So we're integrated with a couple of platforms that provide the text generation part. Okay. And we're integrated with another platform that provides the images and videos. Mm. And we have our own chat AI bot that we're training that's taking all the feed of customers, it's taking different parameters and it's learning by itself. I'm sure you're, you're skeptical about the time frame we promise our clients to give out the websites. We would like you to experience it yourself. First of all, choose the package that suits you and then you click on sign up. All right, free. So you choose the country. You We're choose. gonna call it episode up. Yes. Okay, so this is the onboarding process that um, any new seller uh, needs to uh, finalize. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, we already pre-asked you about your store name. This would be your temporary link, which is shop.pacman 
that app episode up. Mm -hmm. Later on, if you have your own domain, we can integrate it for you. If you don't want one, if you don't have one, we're gonna purchase it on your behalf and connect it to your domain. So the next step would be to choose the industries you're in. Educational products. Educational products. And this part here is where our AI kicks in. So you need to uh, briefly explain what your business is about, information about your business, so that the AI can, can understand what uh, your business is about, basically. Mm -hmm. Or just like a couple of sentences? Yes, two or three sentences just to explain your product, your business. Okay, good. It's showing my mistakes. So, so the, the prompt that you've given uh, to Pac-Man AI is that entrepreneurship channel, educational UA startups with a video content. Mm -hmm. And well, from this line? So from this line, now we're gonna ask you which languages would you like your website to be? English and Arabic as well? Yeah. So that's next. Next step would be, uh, do you have your own logo or would you like us to generate it for you? Oh, well, in this case, let's generate. So generate and this section you need to choose your Brand colors. Brand colors, all right. We are usually black and gray. Perfect. Gray colors. So after filling in your business information, choosing... Uh, a theme. Mm -hmm. Choosing your logo now, we're gonna ask you which theme you want. So if you don't know which theme, it's better to keep it as auto usually. So... Mm -hmm. Straight. Yeah. Now, this one here. Now we're gonna ask you which font uh, style would you like to have? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going with Carla and Incolata. Mm -hmm. And then we click on next, thank you. So you're gonna type your address now. Is it actual? Actual address, yes. Mm -hmm. So where this information will be pulled out from Google? Oh, exactly. Yeah. I have a motion video design, okay. You can click on next. At this stage, we're going to ask you whether would you like to store your items in our warehouse or locally. Let's say you're going to choose the warehouse. Next. Here, this comes, uh, this stage, we ask you to add your categories and products. In this case, we're not going to add them. So we're going to click on next. We show you a, a glimpse about your website mm -hmm. in terms of content, in terms of images selected. So. And the next section now, we're asking you about uh, what do you think about the layout of your homepage? So in this section here, if you can notice that we have the header section, which consists about what people will see the first thing mm -hmm. they land onto your website. It's nice, it's created all the uh, kind of call so, to action and text. So all the text that's, uh, that's required on your website, it's already been pre-created by Pac-Man. So let's say that you didn't like this paragraph, you can easily cha change it here. Mm. Mm -hmm. We will remain within the same context, but different wording. So which videos did you like from these that you would like to use? Mm -hmm. Let me, huh? <laughs> I like, I like this one. Okay. And then there is the About Us section. Which image did you like from the About Us section here to be used? No, let's use the first one. The first one? So, yeah. so we're going to go ahead with this. So now this is the call to action. You can choose basically, yeah? Yes, and you can upload your own images. So the, this section here is the call to action. Which video did, did you like? Mm -hmm. That's so fine. First the first one. one. Keep it, yeah. So, and we're done. We click on next. So as soon as it's populated, I'll start to mm -hmm. talk. Okay, and this almost, we're almost done with building your website. So in this section here, we're asking you which template or which design did you like the most out of all of them? Okay, let's get the yellow, the bright one. The yellow one? Yeah. Which is this one? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to go Video's on. playing straight away. On next. Okay, congratulations. Your website has been created. Okay. Now, to review your website, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to click on it. Okay. 
So that's my, my logo straight away. So this logo has been created for you. Again, the, the screen size is the long size. This is why it took the screen size. Mm -hmm. And all the text has already print, been generated on your behalf. Like we'll come to episode up, the Premiere Hub for this. Mm -hmm. And these were the sections that, the images that we were using for the section. This was the video used. So let's say you didn't like the images or videos, you can change them from your dashboard. All right, so is it actual live now or is this like? It, you can test it out, but in order for it to activate and start receiving online payment, we need your uh, uh, documents like trade license, banking information, and we, we started right away. And then why you, you approve and then? Yes, so now the final stage is the approval process. Okay, looks good, thank you. Well, actually it took you know, a couple of minutes and done. Yes. I guess if you would do it on the laptop, it would be much quicker than on the screen. Yes. Thank you. That's impressive. Congratulations on your website. All right. Thanks. So I have a website now. Yeah. What's next? What's my journey then? Uh, do you have customers? I guess no in the beginning, yeah. So I would I'd advise you to sit down with our marketing expert. She's going to take you around and, and give you a brief introduction on what your business needs to be priced at, who your target customers are and we can support you with marketing campaign. Is it additional cost? Consultation for no. the marketing strategy? No, 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 you're including that, yeah. Okay, what about, I have a product, I need, I don't know, content, photos, videos. So we, we have a small section here where we take images and, and sometimes we do some video shoots in, in this section here. Okay, so uh, a boutique studio, yeah? For Isha is our photographer. Hello. Yeah, so they shipping it, products to you? Yes, you so it's it. either we, sh we pick them up from their house, their office, and we bring it here to our office, or we do the shooting. Like for example, here we have, you can see we're creating a swatch. This is swatch, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a makeup product. Yeah. Um, we always try to showcase it in a way where it's appealing to the end customer to, to have that buying decision. Mm -hmm. Um, more clear. So obviously it comes as an extra charge, but I mean, it's kind of integrated in one place. I have yeah. website, I have content pictures, I just delivering products. Even our pricings are competitively uh, priced. Um, not only the photography, the payment gateway fees are set in a competitive rate compared to what the market is offering today. Yeah. Because we, we work with a payment gateway provider where we um, take a bulk amount of transactions from him. Okay. So that's an added advantage for businesses to register with Pacma. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to go on your own, you're not going to get that deal that you can provide. Uh, for a startup, it's hard to get a deal anywhere. Today, it's even difficult to open a bank account mm -hmm. yeah, true. to that extent. Okay. So imagine once you get to the delivery part, you get to the payment gateway part, that's where Pacman supports. Yeah, sorts everything out. Yeah. And these guys, are they have own storage or, or you guys providing it? So some of them are stored with us in, in our fulfillment center, some of them are not. So it, it purely depends on what your needs are exactly. Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you prefer to keep it at home and you have one, two orders a day where you can manage? Yeah. Then keep it with you. But exactly. if you have 50, 100 orders a day, you'll either end up hiring someone that would add up an additional cost to you or you give it to Pacman. All right. Would you like to visit the warehouse? Yeah, of course. Let's check her out then. Uh, welcome to the warehouse, uh, Evan. Um, here we have a number of businesses that prefer to store their items with us in the fulfillment center. Okay. And usually what percentage, let's say, of customers deciding to store everything with you and have all fulfillment services? So around 38 to 40% of businesses, they prefer to store their items with us. Some prefer to store a small number of items. Some prefer to keep all of their item with us. So we don't limit them to tell them, okay, you need to take this much of storage, no. Because we understand today as a startup, you can start with 10 products. Yeah. So, and we support you with this. What do you need to think about pricing structure? Uh, is it per time? Is it per item numbers? How does it work? So our warehousing prices are straightforward and flexible. We sell it per pallet. Mm -hmm. So the pallet is 90 by 60 by 55 centimeters. And as many pallets as you want, we can accommodate. Is it monthly or yearly? It's either six months or one year. Okay. And how do you compare for the people, for example, maybe yeah. marketplace like Amazon or, 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 I don't know, Noon? What are the difference? 
I'm, I'm not doing a direct competition with the, the marketplaces that are available today here, but on the contrary, you're free to, to market your products on marketplaces, but today as a business, you need to have your foundation, your core, which is your brand image, your brand name, set on your own website. Mm -hmm. That's what we believe in today. Like take it for example, if you heard about a business, what's the first thing you do? Yeah, go check website or socials. Exactly. Having a website is, is necessary and crucial for today. Okay, and if that's what you, you, you guys focusing on. Yeah. Exactly. So, for example, if somebody as well deciding to use their marketing efforts on these platforms, on Amazon or, or whatsoever, you're getting order directly from them and sorting out. I have a question. I see it's like packaging, yeah? Yes. How do you guys deal with and in what extent of customization you're going? So, some businesses, they have their own packaging. If you don't have your own packaging, you use Pac-Man packaging as a default. I'm going to give you an example of one of our sellers. She used to sell the winter uh, gown. She used to focus on a specific segment. So before any order used to be uh, taken out from our warehouse, she used to come herself and put perfume on the, the items okay. and write a hand written note. Yeah. So we, we enable that and we support that. Okay, so it was a very personal touch. Yes. So then what customers said, I want to fulfill in your, you know, fulfillment center, but this kind of customization, I still would like to keep. We do. So what you can then go in the spray the perfume for each order? Our doors are open yeah. because we're all entrepreneurs. We know what it takes to, to make that perfect recipe and we're here to support you with it. I see the warehouse is, well, it looks packed already. Um, what's the forecast? How long you can stay until you, I don't know, need to extend or, or what's your plans with that? So we have another warehouse mm, in where Dubai. we in Dubai, where we can extend the storage. So all of these items here that you see, they're fast moving items. Okay. What does it mean fast moving items? That you have a minimum of one to two orders a day. Okay. That qualifies as a fast moving yes. order. Yes. And the ones that take time to sell once a month or twice a month, we move them to a different warehouse. Mm. So we have like a, a formula that, that's been used when a new business comes in with us. Um, we monitor their trends, their sales, and based on that, we can uh, project a forecast whether this business is a fast moving or not. What is the percentage of brands or startups starts and then closing down because of, I don't know, product is not in demand or there is not enough marketing activities? So there's a worldwide statistic on failed startups, around 90% yeah. chance of them going to ruins. Not because their business is bad, not because their product is bad, Mm -hmm. but because of so many things that they didn't account for. Cash flow yeah. problems are one of the big, biggest main factors. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, I don't know, regionally from here, what, what, what kind of number? Out of 10 startups that starts with you, what's the number that closing? I would say around 40% of them, they would consider uh, in the top tier. Mm -hmm. And then the re remaining 60, we have different classifications for them. Okay, it's like tearings, yeah. uh, putting in the categories. What's the most interesting products that you're storing in the warehouse? So we that have... That surprised you. Okay, we have different types of products. We have someone that's selling anime swords, the Japanese cartoons. Oh, okay, yes, yes, for collectors. Yes, or? so he had his own supplier that he worked with. He did his own packaging and he's doing really well. He's a local guy. That's interesting, yeah. And almost 70 or 68% of... Um, the registered members in our platform are women. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. So the women are dominating the men uh, in, in our business in terms of uh, sales, in terms of creativity, in terms of so many things. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting trend. And we don't mean to demean the men in any way. Yeah, but exactly. That's that's our statistics today. So it means it works because you're communicating a lot about female empowerment, female yes. entrepreneurship. So it uh, reflects in Pac-Man. It does. Yeah. Good. Definitely a good stat. Do you guys only uh, serve and ship to the local UAE market or you ship overseas from here as well? We deliver to uh, over 180 countries worldwide. Okay. So what, like UAE startup starting here and then what? They ship, I don't know, US or Europe? Because, you know, there are a lot of businesses that are based in Europe or in other parts of, of this world mm -hmm. that want to start business in UAE. So we're a gateway or we're an, um, a starting point for them to start their business here in UAE. What do you need to prepare in terms of logistics or, I don't know, legal aspect? 
So they need to have a valid trade license. They need to have a, VA, a VAT certificate if their business is applicable and a valid Emirates ID. Okay, so they need uh, to be established in, yes. in UAE? If they want to uh, sell in the UAE, mm -hmm. then yes. Okay, and what, what could be the case if they don't want to sell in UAE? And what, just store in UAE? They can have a website without selling products, so we can give them that website. Mm -hmm. okay. So if a business wants to sell their items in the UAE, they need to have a UAE license. So if you have a valid trade license back at home, we can uh, kick off your project in order for you to start. Mm -hmm. Okay. But once you start to make your revenues and your business starts to grow, we advise you to have um, a Dubai or a UAE trade license. Yeah, makes sense. But that sounds good because uh, you can test the market. 100%. You can test the market, so register with you, ship it, uh, because you guys take care of all the integrations for the payment. Integrations, payments, customer service, everything you need for yeah. your business to, to work, we have it. Okay. What's the percentage that you serve the local market, ship to local market, and let's say overseas? Uh, that's a lot of statistics that we can... It's around 70-30. Mm -hmm. So 70 stays here. 70 yeah. local, 30% international. I noticed on the social media as well, uh, right now it's like heavily on Arab speakers, like uh, all the content is uh, in Arabic? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Our primary market here in the UAE are locals. Secondary is, is the expats. Yeah. Although locals, they consist of, I would say, 10% of the total population. Mm -hmm. This is why now we're approaching the other segments. Okay. So we're going to expect soon to have a mix of content, Arabic and English. We, we, we actually started, now if you, if you see our page on Instagram, we have a couple of English content, but mostly, like you said, it's, yeah. it's focused towards the Arabic speaking. And uh, speaking about social media, uh, I saw you guys a lot of work with influencers. Yes. Can you tell me about the experience or this decision? We were lucky enough to be trusted by a big number of uh, small and medium businesses, and some of these consist of influencers. So influencers today, they realize that, okay, having a set number of followers is not enough. Mm -hmm. So they either collaborate with brands to increase the revenues or they create their own merchandise. I want to ask more about uh, the benefits of using influencers for the marketing. And you guys yes. used for your own as a yes. Pac-Man brand awareness. So today, uh, influencers is a must. Uh, um, if you have a marketing strategy, uh, one part of it should be focused on influencers and you shouldn't just choose an influencer based on their following or the number of followings or from a friend's recommendation. You need to create a marriage between your product, your niche and that influencer. Mm -hmm. Like for example, if someone is selling makeup products, yeah. you wouldn't go to someone who is promoting restaurants all the time. You would go to someone who is really specialized in uh, talking about makeup, visiting countries related to makeup, so that would create a perfect marriage. What was the results uh, in terms of you hiring an influencer or for the agency or directly? Do you pay a specific amount for that, for the message or real? How do you calculate return on investment? The problem is with an influencer, sometimes one time is not sufficient enough for them to measure the, the, mm -hmm. the rate of return on that specific ad. Yeah. So we always advise them to Follow through a strategy. You're a new business. Um, as soon as you do an advertisement, that's not supposed to be going towards sales. Mm. You know, there is, you need to build it. Okay. You need to get your brand name out there. So you need to work on your brand awareness. You need to uh, break that barrier between you and your customers to create a bigger niche. You shouldn't just bombard them from the beginning. Hey, I have zero followers. I'm selling this product, buy from me. People will not buy from you and you need to Give them a story. If someone knows the shortcuts, he's going to do it with a cost-effective approach. And some of them that, that, that likes to be a perfectionist, they end up spending a lot of time, a lot of uh, uh, money to, uh, towards it, but the result is not immediate. This is why they start to back up. Mm -hmm. So you just need to go through the phases and make sure that you perfect each phase. I really like what you said about creating a story, creating a brand. Yeah. Even from my interviews, a lot of people saying in this region, people or brands itself or managers focusing too much on the sales. 
Yes. Whatever effort they do, they want to see reflection in sales. Yes. And they're kind of leaving that area that they need to create a brand, they need to create a story first for user to get in love in you, in you, in your brand, in, in the founder itself. Yes. And then start kind of getting these positions, converting them yes. into paid customers. Yeah. Let's say you have three swimming pools. The third swimming pool is your biggest pool. So the job of the first two swimming pools is to make sure that that big pool is filled. Mm -hmm. And these two swimming pools, one would be brand awareness, another one would be retargeting, and then the third one would be that pool of customers that are willing to buy from you. Okay. So you need to be patient, you need to build uh, content behind it, you need to be smart in spending. You, should don't, you shouldn't always approach the higher end in terms of spending. Today from your mobile phone you can generate content that's, that can make you a millionaire, literally. Mm -hmm. You just need to know what to do and what to say and how to do it. Okay, so there is two parts, let's say influencer. We, I'm still touching the influencer marketing. Yeah. So you guys used for the Pac-Man and then our brands are using it. For example, the influencer marketing, did it pay it off for you? Not, n um, not necessarily all of them. We, we had our share of learning curve with influencers as well because we've been in the market from 2020. Mm -hmm. And we've literally uh, tried out most of the influencers that are based in this region here, whether they're in UAE, Saudi, uh, Qatar, uh, Bahrain. And we noticed that people are much more aware than they used to be back then. The buying decision used to be much faster than it is today. Mm -hmm. Today they ask questions. Why is that? Challenging. Is that true? Is that not true? Then they do their own research. This is a good learning curve, of course. Okay. So are you saying now audience not trusting blindly influencers? So okay. now they, they tend to um, create their own research, which is um, an amazing thing because this is what I do and this is what everyone should be doing. What kind of method you used of the marketing? So influencer, what else? What else you used? What else worked or didn't? So the thing that's been working out mostly uh, towards Pac-Man is creating daily reels. We try to come with an indirect approach. So we don't come and tell you, hey, Ivan, we have, um, we are an e-commerce company. You can join us for 340 dirhams a month. We set up your website. We provide delivery to you. No, we always come with an indirect approach that, okay, the market size is this big, what are you doing about it? Okay. Just like, to get that um, entrepreneurship side of you being triggered. So for each uh, social media channel, we have a specific approach. We always look at our numbers, our, our company expense, our marketing expense. How can we reduce the spending versus getting a new customer? So we have the cost of customer acquisition. We always look at this number. How can we maintain, maintain it or go below that number? Okay, you do Google Ads? We, we do Google Ads, we do Instagram Ads, we do YouTube Ads, we do Snapchat Ads, we, we do them all. Okay, and what's, uh, I don't know, marketing uh, team size? So we have, our marketing team consists of three uh, team members. Okay, all right, marketing is clear. Yeah. Sales, do you do kind of directly, direct sales? We do. Uh, our sales team, are, they consist of around uh, eight people. Okay. So we have the ones that are doing calls in the office and the ones that visit businesses outside. So once we receive a lead from our marketing, sometimes it goes towards a live website. Sometimes they require more of a one-to-one -one session with them. Just to explain our services more, they might have more questions related to their business. So once this is all cleared out, we convert them into a customer, mm -hmm. if they're interested, of course, yeah. to join. It's interesting you mentioned that salespeople visiting existing businesses? Yes, they can go to shops located across UAE, uh, retail shops mostly, that have one branch, two branches. Ah, okay, so, and maybe they don't have any e-commerce presence? None. All right. None, so I, I would say that the rate that's adopting at is really increasing year by year. We're always trying to emphasize that having an e-commerce presence in the UAE is a must. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you can see like Dubai, mashallah, if you go to the streets, the motorbikes are everywhere. Yeah. This shows that there is a, a vibrant uh, community behind the applications. From my experience, I guess uh, UAE is one of the well-established or best established in any e-commerce or delivery. I mean, I'm, I'm living here, I'm expecting uh, order today and uh, worst case scenario, get it tomorrow. Yes. You know, in, uh, I guess in Europe it's, uh, 
we order today, we're gonna get end of the week or? We, we are blessed and lucky to have a leader like uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed. Uh, he always sets the bar really high and for everyone to follow. He has a famous quote that says about the deer and the cheetah or the deer and the tiger. He always says that the, the, the deer wakes up and makes sure she outruns the fastest lion or the fastest cheetah or else it's gonna die. And same goes to the lion. The lion knows that he needs to make sure he outruns the fastest deer in order for him to survive. So that's, that's the place we're at. It's fast, competition is there, it's fierce. And if you just let go for a couple of uh, phases, let's say in your business, you're out of business. On social, I saw a lot of, as well, partnerships with uh, government institutions. Yes. How does it help you? Since we established the company, we were registered under His Highness Sheikh Mohammed for small and medium businesses. So our entity is under the umbrella of Dubai SME. Okay. So we, we got a couple of perks that included discounts on the trade license. Um, and then we had um, an agreement with Dubai Economy back then, which is today Dubai Economy and Tourism. The agreement was to support e-trade, e-licensed traders to start their e-commerce business in one day. Mm -hmm. The same thing we had with Ras Al Khaimah government. And our recent uh, collaboration was with Abu Dhabi, a business women council again to empower the women entrepreneurs that are based in Abu Dhabi and the Al Ain region. Well, it looks like it works because you mentioned there's over 60% of yes. customers are women. Yes. So I would say close to the 70% 70, 70 of our sellers, they're women. Is there a percentage of, uh, well, what is the percentage of customers locally based here? Okay. And that came from overseas, from the Western world? So we have less than 10% of clients that are based outside of UAE. 90% are clients that reside in UAE. 70% uh, of them are local and 20% of them are uh, expats living in UAE. So what's the best, what's the unique selling point for the companies that want to be established here and still don't have presence here? I would advise them to look at their trends about, uh, to their stats. Um, do you have any traction from UAE or from GCC? UAE can become a starting point for you to access those markets. Uh, what about WhatsApp marketing? With WhatsApp, you're opening a communication channel between you and the customer. Ivan, what's the last price for this product? Can you give me a discount? You're going to have not less than 100, 500 conversations spending. And the, the buying uh, factor is spending because they're still waiting to either get a discount from you. I advise divert your clients towards your website, Instagram or your social media, a place where your product has been explained properly. So the, the client does not have any questions unanswered. So WhatsApp will just remind them that there is a special offer. Visit the website. Yeah. So this would be the, the level of conversation. And even we don't uh, recommend keeping an open channel of communication through WhatsApp because most of the time you're going to leave it unattended. Speaking about the services, additional services of marketing or branding or even sales, what Pacman can provide to the brand? We have a section called analytics where we focus on showing you data that would support you to create more efficient marketing campaigns in the future. The analytics show you which products trending that people are visiting the most, uh, from which country they're visiting you, how long are they staying on each page? So they can process the data and make a decisions. Yes. And now what's next step is to do action. Kind exactly. Of. What kind of uh, channels you're helping or supporting, what they can expect. And we always advise them if you're having low sales, it's not a problem with your product. It's a problem with the way how you're conveying the message to clients. So you need to enhance the, the way you, you're shooting your reels. And we have seminars that we hold it here in our office to just gather our sellers and talk about what are the ways that can impact your customer and what are the ways that you need to film the real ad and how should you be focused on, on doing these things. You mentioned uh, that you guys have seminars. I think I found on the, you, do, you did Pac-Man Expo? Yes, that was an event we, we held in the Address Boulevard. Mm -hmm. It was done around two months ago. Uh, the idea was to create somewhat of a shopping mall 
enhanced with influencers. So we gathered almost 40 businesses. Your own businesses? Yes, yeah. businesses That's that awesome. are registered with Pac-Man. We got uh, almost six influencers and it was a successful event. Okay, so you are educating market, supporting market? Yes, we, we got them traffic to their website. We got traffic to the event itself and we managed to give them uh, an influencer at a fraction of the cost for him to do. Mm -hmm. because it's shared amongst all the, the attendees. Do you think it's important as well for brands to step in and like pop up shops or something? It is important, but the way how we see it is that the influencers we've gotten, the, the main primary key of, of uh, this event was to reduce the cost. It would cost a business to hire an influencer and to get them at a fraction of the cost. Like share the economy kind exactly. of aspect. And you basically organize that yes. in order to benefit your own customers. And, and there's a, a tip that we always emphasize our sellers to use. When you're doing a marketing uh, advertising with an influencer, and that influencer is just going to give you coverage for 24 hours, and that's it. How can you benefit the most after, out of the dollar spent? You can ask him for the material, mm. put it on your social media, and then pay advertising on it. So on daily basis, you can specify, I don't know, $50, $100 to run that piece of material yeah. that's known to a million people. Okay. So this way you have content not only for 24 hours, you have it for three months. Okay, so you basically take that face and use for longer. That's what they need yeah. to do. Speaking about Pac-Man, so what's next? What's in the industry in general, in, in e-commerce industry? What's trending and what's upcoming? I think the next phase within the next five years would be more of a meta, uh, metaverse approach. Um, we're working on our Pac-Man meta mall. That meta we're going to be, yes. So let's say we're sitting all of us together here. Uh, you can have an avatar personalized based on who you are, your identity. It can be the real you. Digital twin. Yes, digital, exactly. It's your digital twin based on, in, in an online world. And uh, the idea of this model is to what, like, we can host an, an event with a singer mm -hmm. inside the mall. And we get the singer to come in and perform in that mall. And when you walk in the meta world, you can see all the businesses who are registered with Pac-Man as an actual store. You can go inside, there's someone that you're gonna speak with, which is the business owner. You're gonna get to see the products up close. You're gonna do the purchasing right from, as if you're doing it with a mall. Yeah, that's so interesting. That's, that's later in, in, in the future. Now what we're focusing on is to have our expansion plan. Tell me more about expansion. We're gonna start to cover most of the GCC markets, which is Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait. Okay. Oman, we're already present in Oman. So basically concept is working, yes. you're expanding. Yes. Let's say if a customer places an order from Saudi, he's gonna pay an international shipping fees. Mm -hmm. But when you register with Pac-Man, we're gonna um, have a formula in place that we would justify the amount of inventory sent to each market. Kind of split. Yes. Yeah. And then the customers in that market, they're gonna place an order with local shipping fees. And obviously it will be faster. So instead of paying, I don't know, $20 on, on shipping fees or $15, you're gonna pay $10 or $8. We always look at factors on how to uh, convert your customer into a paying customer. Because if your business is successful, you're not going to leave us. But if you don't have any sales, then that's where the decision comes. Okay, should I stay? Should I not stay? So in return, Pac-Man, we don't just tell you, okay, Ivan, here's your website, good luck. We constantly de de uh, develop our platform. We constantly, like every month, we have a new update being launched. To basically retain, retain yes. the customer. Yes. Right. You guys covering a lot of areas, you know, from the website, AI, storage, fulfillment, packing, marketing as well. What about, for example, delivery? We have a hybrid model. So we have our own drivers and we have the uh, third party model. Okay, so you do have own kind of fleet. Yes. And we always test and trial. And at the end of the day, the ultimate goal is to, what, is to ensure that the end customer and the seller are having the best experience. The cost of delivery is, is well uh, priced. The, the order has been delivered in a timely manner to the customer. You have a lot of knowledge in all different areas. My next question would be, what's your story? I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a passionate entrepreneur. Since I was a kid, I always used to see that, okay, how can I 
make money out of this? How does this person, how is he making money? How, how did he become successful? I know that money comes after consistently doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Um, I'm a computer science graduate. I, gra I graduated from Canada. I've been living in Dubai for 20 years. So for school, I went to Dubai. Uni, went to Montreal. Uh, came back to Dubai. I kicked off a project with one of the marketplaces that used to be present in the UAE market. Uh, I used to get products from China, mostly electronics. I used to market it through social media. Mm. Business was going well. Suddenly, my sales started to drop month by month. I went in depth and to see like, wh why is this happening? I noticed that I had, I don't know, 10 to 15 other people selling the same product at 10% of the cost. All the money spent in building that niche to divert the traffic to the marketplace has been benefited not towards me, towards other sellers. And that started to harm my business step mm -hmm. by step. That's where Pac-Man idea came up. How can I have a platform that provides you with a warehousing and fulfillment solution and gives you the empowerment you need and the full control of, of who comes in and who goes out from your store. So you're not worried about competition, about others taking the, the clients that you worked so hard on, on getting to the platform. So we're letting them become independent. So you face the problem and uh, you create a solution. Today, any entrepreneur can come and have a meeting with any of us. We have so many casual talks with so many businesses here. Yeah, I've seen it before when we arrived, there's a lot of customers yes. speaking with your guys, yeah. So when did you guys start at uh, Pac-Man? We started back in 2020, uh, March 2020, at the beginning of Corona. So we're sitting at home, not knowing what's gonna happen next. But thanks God that uh, Corona was an opportunity for us because a lot of businesses had to go online or they, they were gonna lose uh, their business basically. Yeah. And that's where you saw the big influx? Yes. And we, we started growing from, from there. And how did it change, for example, whatever the Pac-Man is now and from initial concept? <clears throat> Back then when we started Pac-Man, it was basically a one page where products used to be shown and the checkout page, that's it. Mm -hmm. You didn't have banners, you didn't have homepage, you didn't have multiple pages, you didn't have so many options that we provide today. Today, a website that registered with us can have is integrated with an online payment plus Tabby, which is um, uh, buy payment now, split, yeah. pay later. Okay. So, and, and the flexibility in the system is, is unbelievable. So today you can edit your website at ease. You can add multiple pages at ease generate discount codes, look at your analytics, add products, delete products, um, use AI to create a new homepage for you. So that's all done. Any advice for entrepreneurs wannabe? How they should look at that journey? Where should they start? Uh, apart from obviously starting with the Pac-Man. Uh, are you familiar with the show Shark Tank? Yeah, where people pitching. Yes. Yes. I advise them to, to look at it for three months continuously. Get to know and understand the parameters between uh, pitching a business. How should you present it? Um, how should you price it? How should you do the valuation of your company? Having an investor or finding an investor should not be a constraint because if your idea is good, backed up by a solid business plan, you will find people that want to put their money with you. Entrepreneurship is a long way and you need to be ready for, for, for the journey. Okay. And if you're looking to do it just to make money fast, then I advise you to stay in real estate to really <laughs> okay. real estate or other segments in the market. Yeah. All right. So watch Shark Tank, learn the questions, yes. learn how entrepreneurs prepare. Yes. Or watch locally episode up channel with this kind of, of insightful conversations of like course. we're having right now. Yes. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Well, officially, Pac-Man has been unpacked for your own judgment and for your own knowledge. I definitely enjoyed the actual process that you can create a website within in a minute. Uh, now we have Episode Up have our own website and I can sell integrated with the payment, integrated with the shipping, whatever you need. A lot of emphasizes during the conversation that we had was on brand building and brand story. There is technology, 
There is uh, startups like Pac-Man that empowers you to start. Now you need to focus on your message, on your story, on your marketing, on your brand building and push that dream and sell. Make that e-commerce business. Thank you, Pacman, for great conversation. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned either your startup to be or existing startup that you would like to step in the e-commerce market or your startup from overseas that want to step in the UAE market and test the waters. This episode is for you. Hope you enjoyed. Let us know always if you have questions and we'll see you in the next episode with another beautiful startup in UAE.